Florida Senator Marco Rubio is with us from Milwaukee. Good morning, Senator. Good morning, Charlie. You participated in the debate last night. There was much talk about immigration uh, and a debate about deportation. Some suggested that you might have wanted to wade in more on that because you oppose deportation. Should you have? Well, I don't oppose deporting people that are criminals, and I don't oppose, I don't oppose deporting people that haven't been in this country for a very long time. I do think we have to have a realistic policy about people that have been here for a long time and are not otherwise criminals. But before you do any of that, you have to begin with two steps. The first step is you have to bring illegal immigration under control and prove to the American people that that's happened. Then you have to modernize your legal immigration system. And only after you've done those two things can you move to the third step, which is to uh, conduct background checks on everyone who's here illegally. If they're criminals, they have to leave. If they're not, they have to pay taxes, they have to start, they have to pay a fine. They uh, have to learn English, and they get a work permit, and that's all they'll have for at least 10 years. I have the most well-defined plan when it comes to immigration. It's an issue I think we need to confront as a country, and uh, as I said, my position on it's been well-stated and repeatedly stated. Senator, let me ask you specifically. The administration appealed to the Supreme Court yesterday to block the deportation of 4 million immigrants after a court of appeals upheld an earlier injunction. I know you know about this case. It's headed to the Supreme Court potentially. Are you for deporting those four million immigrants who are the parents of many legal residents here? Yeah, this is a tough issue because you're talking about human beings in real lives. The flip side of it is you're talking about the law. I mean, this country has a right to have immigration laws, and it, and it needs to enforce those laws or you don't have laws. No one has a right to illegally immigrate to the United States. And so, look, this is an issue that's very difficult. I live this issue every day. I see it. I live in a majority my, uh, immigrant community. My parents were immigrants. My wife's parents were immigrants. All of my neighbors are immigrants. But we have to have laws. And by the way, we also have to have a system that is fair to the people that are trying to come here legally. Understood, and, uh, Senator. So but can I just issue, get your, but, but, can but I clarify your position laws. on that? Can I clarify your position on that? The, you would see those 4 million plus confusing. immigrants deported. We need to enforce our law, and I do not support DAPA. It's unconstitutional. It's the wrong way to do this. And quite frankly, we, we need to begin to enforce our immigration laws in this country, or, there, or we don't have immigration laws. Every country in the world has immigration laws. America is entitled to have laws and is entitled to enforce them. Senator, I was at a dinner last night in New York, and a lot of your supporters were giving you a way to go for your commercial that you released right before the debate, where you have Jeb Bush praising you. So I'm, my question is this, what is your strategy there and what is your relationship like with Jeb Bush? Well, no, that, look, I am, very, I am close. I mean, I admire him greatly, have tremendous respect for him and affection for him as a person. Unfortunately, over the last few weeks, he's chosen to attack me, but I'm not going to change my strategy and reciprocate that. I'm going to continue to focus on the future of America, and I'm not going to change who I am or the campaign that I'm running because of someone else's strategic decisions and changes in their campaign. I, I hope I, we're going to continue to run a campaign that is realistic about our challenges, but also optimistic about our opportunities in our future. And I think ultimately that is the way to win this nomination and be elected president. There are new questions this morning uh, from the Miami Herald about your use of a credit card, a state party credit card years ago. You've addressed it and said that it was a mistake, but they, they're detailing that it was used more than once. How do you explain that? Yeah, we've explained this more than anyone cares to know. This is a small, it's a bureau down in Florida, one newspaper that's obsessed with the story. Bottom line is we have revealed all the documents. People can see it all. It's there. It's not a big issue and we're moving on. It really is a silly story and I'm, uh, they, they can continue to write about it. But uh, as I said, the Republican Party never paid any of my personal expenses and as the records detail, if there were personal expenses and those few times that there were, we paid for them uh, directly to American Express. And, as I said, this was all audited by the Republican Party. This was looked at by the Florida Ethics Commission because of a Democrat activist's complaint. And uh, we've addressed it and we've moved on. You said the CNBC debate was a missed opportunity. Was this one? No, this was a good substantive debate. We talked deeply about issues and we really enjoyed that. I'm glad we had one and I hope all the other ones will be like that. All right, Senator Rubio, we thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.